I've been looking at uh, some of the Christmas viewing for our younger viewers, and I thought you'd rather like me to remind you of just a few of these programmes. I've got a sort of desk diary here, you see, and if we turn the pages, well, we shall see what we shall see. Thursday, 22nd of December, we have Cracker Jack with Eamon Andrews and all our friends from Cracker Jack and some wonderful, spectacular stuff as well. And uh, Cracker Jack will be at 10 minutes past five. There we are. Now we turn the page to Friday, the 23rd of December, and we find that we have Prudence Kitten again. Now we've got a little bit of film, and I thought you might like to see that and see what Prudence Kitten is going to be up to at Christmas time. I expect it'll be rather fun, don't you? Oh, hello, you two. You do look busy. Hey, yeah. You're putting up the decorations. Yeah. What are you going to do? Wow. Yeah. Oh, haul them up. Well, that's clever. Can we watch? It's a very new idea. Paul? Oh, isn't that clever? Now you do yours, Primrose. Oh, that's right. Well, that's a splendid idea. I must try mine like that this year. You are going to have a nice Christmas, aren't you? Yeah. And we can see Prue Kitten at five o'clock. So we'll put that down, five o'clock. Now, also on Friday, we shall be seeing Adrian Hill in Sketch Club. And uh, luckily, we have Adrian in the studio with us, and I don't think he'll mind us disturbing him just for a minute while he tells you something about it. Adrian. Hello. No, thanks very much, Tony. I just wanted to remind you not to forget to look in on Friday at 5.35 at Sketch Club because I shall be showing um, your pictures of the Christmas story and because I'm expecting a lot of entries, I will be showing quite a number more. So, till then, bye for now. Remember, 5.35 Friday. Good. And now, of course, we come to Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Eve, we've got some old friends. We haven't seen them for a very long time, the Apple Yards. I wonder if you remember them. Let's go over and see the Apple Yards now. Well, three of them at any rate. Oh, let's play a record. That's an idea. Oh, which one? Well, something cool, something hot. Something classical. What about this one? Oh, we haven't played that one for nearly four years. I've almost forgotten how it goes. Mm. We've got a bit older, but we haven't changed very much, and I hope you'll join us on Saturday afternoon when BBC Television invites you to watch Christmas, Christmas with, with the Apple Yards. Yes, at 5.25, the Apple Yards. Over we go again, and of course we come to Christmas Day. Now, in the afternoon, at 3.30, we've got a splendid circus for you to see and it's got clowns and acrobats and animals and jugglers everything you could want to see in a circus and that is at 3.30 so you'll have time to help with the washing up before that won't you after Christmas Day we come to Boxing Day and the Balloon and the Baron now this is a, a remarkable sort of play and I think the best thing that we can do is to um, let the Baron tell you something about it for himself Well, this story's about me. As I was saying, this story's about me, and it's called The Baron and the Balloon. Excuse me, sir. It's called The Balloon and the Shut Bear. up, Marmaduke. I'm talking. Now, then, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Now, I'm a baron. Not a velvet one, unfortunately, just a, a woolly one. <clears throat> well, now, that's why I want my son Edward to marry into the nobility. I don't know much about the nobility myself, being chiefly concerned with wool, but my brother Egbert does. He's a portrait painter. Not a very good one, but never mind about that. He paints portraits of dukes and duchesses and earls and earlesses. And that's why I'm absolutely determined that my son Edward is... Uh, oh, very well. Have it your own way, then. This is called The Balloon and the Baron. There's no doubt about what it's called, is the, the balloon at the Baron at 
five o'clock. And now we skip on a bit and we come back to Thursday again. Uh, Thursday the 29th of December and Playbox. And Playbox, of course, brings us Eamon Andrews again. And he'll be opening the Playbox and we shall have some guests in the studio, some young guests and the inter-regional quiz. And we shall, of course, also have um, Chief Inspector Bruce of Scotland Yard. And uh, we might briefly go over to Scotland Yard now and just have a word with the inspector. Shall we do that? <laughs> Oh, hello. Have you ever heard of the Black Museum? Well, it's a room at Scotland Yard in which they keep various relics of infamous criminals. Well, my grandfather had a Black Museum too, and I bought just a few of his mementos. The bracelets of a murderer, the gun of a spy, and in particular this wheel. Now, this is out of a clock, and it's the clue to a dastardly crime and a situation in which my grandfather very nearly lost his life. Ten minutes past five. Playbox. Oh, there's, some, there's somebody else in Playbox. Name escapes me for the moment, but um, I think that he'll probably, at some stage of the proceedings, go up to an easel and perhaps he'll draw you a little picture. I think he might, don't you? And that'll be me. And a very happy Christmas to all of you. Goodbye for now. <laughs>